days from now we will be entering into a new month which is month of November the second to the last month of the year and believe me November starts with no in other words when you don't want things or you don't want to agree with a phenomena you will always say no so if you don't want sickness this November if you don't want lack of finances you don't want disappointment you don't want delay you don't want frustration you don't want reproach you don't want shame you need to prepare for it because believe me adequate preparation prevents poor performance and by god's grace if you will actually follow me to the end of this video i'm going to show you powerful spiritual work you will actually do in order to enjoy the length and breadth of November in sound health, divine protection, divine provision, loss of cells, new contracts, open door, breakthrough, success, unusual visitation, connection, and above all, too much money. And they believe me, God always have a lot of stuff for his children. No wonder he said the end of the matter is better than the beginning thereof. November, even from October to November, is just the last quarter of the year. And believe me, those moons are strategic because it is going to be far better than every other moon you have ever witnessed. So, if only you can pay rapt attention and do what I'm going to be telling you, you will come back to thank me that truly you have seen divinity coming to help humanity in November. So, welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I treat three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and put this three in action into your life and understand that the spiritual controls the physical and you understand how to manipulate the spiritual variables in order to make your future life present believe me there is no limit to your achievement in this life you will now find that you are god and god have ability to have everything without lacking anything so if this is the very first time you're landing in my channel you are highly welcome by God's grace. My name is Jennifer. You can simply call me Jenny. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that you always get notified by YouTube as soon as I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So without wasting time, let's get straight to the video of today. You need to understand this thing that every human being you see on this earth actually have a guardian angel. And it's actually what your guardian angel see you do, see you believe in, see you say that he reports to your maker and he manifests to you. And know this and know this very well that guardian angels work in different ways. There are people that have extremely active spirit that once you do a work today, you see the result today, today. Where, why some it will take some days, it will take some weeks before it will actually manifest. Based on your relationship with your guardian angel, I said it before, some of the things that angers our guardian angel that will make them not to work for us. Go through my channel if you're new person in this channel you get lots and lots of videos about some things that i have said or breaking even natural laws and when you break them it will become difficult for uh, spiritual laws to work for your spiritual work to work for you so you need to go to lots of my video to understand what i am saying because i actually want this work to be so pleasant work uh, for you from day one till the last day of the moon so first of all what you'll be needing is actually scent leaves. Scent leaves. I don't need to tell you much about scent leaves. Just go through my videos. Anywhere you see the picture of scent leaves. Another name for scent leaves is basil leaves. 
for those that are not living in Nigeria, if you are living in foreign country, most of the times they call it Basile leaf. Though it might be a bit different from this, but all of them come from the same family. They have similar energy. They have similar spiritual benefit. So you use it. So believe me, everything God created have lots and lots of spiritual benefit. This leaf can do and undo, help you to get away bad energy, bad things and bring good vibes to you and the second thing you will actually be needing is bay leaves for those that are in this channel newly bay leaves are this condiment an ingredient that we normally use to cook stew those selling stew ingredients sells it apart from that you we also use it to boil meat cook fried rice jello rice depending and they these have a lot and lots of spiritual benefit. Um, above all, one of the most powerful spiritual benefit of bear leaf is that it manifests money to you. And when you write any wish on it, because it's full of positivity. For example, I wrote something on this one. If you look at it closely, whenever you write any wish, let's say your nepa bill is finishing and you need it the money urgently write it and pray on it set it on fire as the smell is circulating is sending message to the universe and it will that money will miraculously come to you go through my channel i say the loss about it you can actually know more then the next one is garlic garlic have lots and lots of spiritual and physical benefit see this garlic it, it drives away every form of negativity negative energy it cleanses it gives you a lot of positive vibe as the smell is strong physically spiritually it will ward off anything evil spirit that once you have it believe me evil spirit cannot easily attack you if it's in your house so what are you going to do first you will get a bottle like this that the mouth is well open so when you get this type of bottle fill it with water so when you feel believe me water is life water have a lot of positive energy and vibration one day i'm going to tell, teach you how you use water to manifest whatever that is your problem so when you fill it with water you get this scent leaf just get out seven pieces of scent leaf and add inside that water then get out seven cloves of garlic like i normally say a clove of garlic is like this please don't peel the back once you peel the back you have actually disconnected the spirituality put seven cloves of garlic here with his back and then get seven leaves of bear leaf you get leaf, seven leaves of bear leaf the one that the leaves are is clean at least it's not the one that is tattered like this or that something has eaten up because this time there is a time you will need it too i'll tell you so get clean clean one because believe me you need clean clean cash you need good cash it manifests money to you and believe me this end of the year a lot of us need money to celebrate the end of the year in a pleasant manner so you add seven leaves of it and then you do this on 31st of october so when you have added this when you're about to sleep keep it by your side and sleep let it be close to you so that when your guardian angel visits you you will see that you have already started preparing how to enter the next mode gloriously the thing you will be doing is get this scent leaf so you are going to get plenty of scent leaf or basil leaf and put seven seven in each of your room that's scatter it on the ground make sure that there is four in edges of your room and three in the middle of the room so seven seven on each of the room leave it overnight let it sleep there because it's going to be helping you to get rid of anything you don't want for the mood and welcome those things you actually want to happen in the new mood for you so as soon as you wake up for the first of november carry your mission you know it's already close to you in your bed begin to pray open it and speak inside it speak powerful word with conviction believe me job 22 28 say 
should make a decree here on earth and it shall be established in heaven. And the same Bible says, as I hear you speak, so shall I do for you. So we begin to speak that this month I pray that I'm going to live in divine protection, that in my going out and come back shall be blessed. My business will take another shape. I will not look for money. Goodness, mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. New connection, new contract, new job, marriage proposal. I'm going to have my own child. You know what you are looking for. What if God is physically present and say, make your request? These are the things you will say. These are the things I need. So you speak it powerfully inside that mixture. When you finish it, just keep it aside and then enter your morning devotion standing barefooted. So when you stand barefooted, first of all, you know, the Bible says we always enter into the court of God with thanksgiving. You have to thank the Almighty God. Whether you're a Christian or you're not, you know how you pray in that your particular religion. You thank the Almighty God. It's not easy to see a new moon. A lot of people could not make it into the new moon. So when you finish thanking the Almighty God with the whole of your heart, you can worship Him with song. You are appreciating, appreciate your guardian angel. And then after you have done that, then you read your Bible if you're Christian. Get some one to one and read. Get some 67 and read. And also read some 68. Use it to pray for the blessings of God. Say, God, that I look unto the hill from west, come in my help. My help is actually coming from you. Help me throughout this month. I rely on you. I'm depending on you. May the land yield her increase for me. I will eat the good of the land. I will enjoy the, the good of the land. My, the works of my hand will be blessed. Anything I lay hand will prosper. I'm going to make more, much more than I have ever made in the previous month because you say the end of the matter is better than the beginning. You will remind him of all his word because he said heaven and earth might pass away, but his word will not. So when you have done that, go and get your broom. Make sure that the broom you are using is relatively new. If you have old broom in your house, I've told you, remove it and throw it away because actually it is bringing bad luck and the loss of finances to you. Broom is not costly. So get out your broom and begin to speak. Do what I call prophetic work. As you begin to sweep, Please make sure that once you wake up every morning, you sweep your house, whether it is dirty or not dirty, and don't sweep your house twice a day because when you do that, you are removing treasure from that house. The best time to sweep your house is actually in the morning. So when you get to your broom, you do prophetic work. As you are sweeping with those saint leaf, you are saying, today I sweep away poverty. You know, this is the month of November. No poverty, no sickness, no disappointment, no failure. No promise at the age of breakthrough, no uh, lack of success. All those things you don't, as you are sweeping it, you are talking to it that you are sweeping them out. You don't want to have them in your house in this new month. You now sweep it. Then, after you have sweep everything you don't want out, then you still stand barefooted, lift up your holy hands before God and begin to pray that your welcoming connection open door break to success. Then you welcome opposite of the things you sweep out. Immediately you finish that. If you have something that sprays like this, that has small mouth, you now measure out that water, open it, fill it, and begin to sprinkle this mixture, mixture of bell leaf, scent leaf, and garlic, Begin to sprinkle it everywhere in the house. And as I'm sprinkling it, and sprinkling positivity, connection, open door, breakthroughs, lots of love, new relationships, old relationship that is not good for me. I am exiting you out. You sprinkle it all over. If you have physical place you do business, kindly take the mixture there and also sprinkle it. Then when you have done that, enter between to bed. When you want to bet, just collect three spoons of that same mixture, put it in a basin like this. Then when you put it in a basin, then add salt. Salt make everything that is not working to work. That was why in 2 Kings 2, 19 to 20, when Elisha was taken to a land that is unproductive, they say the inhabitants is dying and so on and so forth. He only tell them, bring your new clothes. In other words, a new basin like this. And he added salt and water and just went and poured it to the head of the stream of that water. The land automatically became healed. People stopped dying. Things started working. So when you now add salt, just 
three spoons of salt, your normal kitchen salt, breathe into the water that you have put that salt with the three, uh, three kind of drops or spoons of the mixture. No, no matter how small matters a lot. So don't say it's small, just put a kind of three spoons of the mixture or put a little bit of the mixture and then pray that throughout this month everything about me will answer to productivity. I will never lack. I will be my business will be full of productivity. My family will enjoy. We will no longer suffer loss. A salt doesn't die. None of us will die. A salt doesn't decay. We will not decay. And the salt is uncountable. So it's our blessing be uncountable. You pray how it is in your heart. You keep it. Then you go and bet your normal bet with soup, with your water, with a kind of sponge. When you finish betting, make this one your rinsing water. Let it dry in your body. Please don't rub cream. Don't throw away your body. And don't use soap. Believe me, you are fortified and prepared for this month. Nothing bad will actually happen to you. As for that mixture, continue keeping it from day to day. Sprinkle it every night. Add it to your betting water and bet. Add it to a kind of basin as a rinsing water and continue rinsing your body with it. If it stays till one month better, if even if you finish, add extra water in it, continue using it till the end of the month. In fact, make it a point of duty not just to be batting ordinary water, at least every night bring a basin and put some as mix water with some of those mixture as your rinsing water. Yes, those things there will be decaying. The more they decay, the more effective it becomes, the more powerful it becomes. Trust me, you will see how pleasant this new moon, this, this November coming will be for you. So anytime you see this video, actually do it because I know some people might not see it on time, but I believe God that as many that will do it, God will actually surprise them and you will surely come back and testify in the comment section. With this, I've actually come to the end of this video. If you find it helpful, please give me the thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be part of the family. If you are not subscribed, hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Share this video to everyone. Share the channel to everyone. So as you do it, believe me, God will also advertise you, advertise whatever you do and surprise you. So with this, I say, God bless you. I welcome you to the new month, month of positivity, connection, open the brick to success in Jesus' name. Amen.